so much for being interested in my Sumi brush pack for Clip Studio Paint. It's always been my dream to be able to translate traditional element to digital, so I'm very excited to present my very first brush pack. This is a tutorial to show you how to use and alter these brushes to get an organic Sumi brush look in Clip Studio Paint. This pack comes with 10 brushes with a bonus bladder brush, all created from scratch. There are 4 continuous with it brushes and 6 brushes that run out of ink, giving it a dry brush tail. The brushes are meant to be used in combinations to create various textures. Installing these brushes is super easy. Just locate your SUT files, drag one into the subtool panel, and then you can drag it to the top and to the side to create a new folder. And now just drag the rest into the same panel. The Fuda brushes will give you a softer, wetter ink look and the Sumi brushes will give you a drier, textural look. The Fude one is a very soft and flowy brush. The two main things that you will want to look at are the angle and the brush density. The angle is set to zero by default, which gives you a bit of a more slanted look. But if you adjust it to make it look a little bit more horizontal, you can actually get quite a different feel from the brush. You can also lower the brush density to make it look like it has more water loaded. For that too, is more to add the fuzzy edges that usually would bleed into the paper when the ink is very wet. All you have to do is find the outer rim of a curve and basically trace over it to give it that fuzzy look. I also changed the angle to accommodate different parts of the drawing as well as density. To make the textures more believable and softer, I like to use the default asset under texture and under material monochromatic and drag the rough texture into the canvas. I then go into the layer property, enable the layer color, change the color to something a little lighter, then go back to layer and lower the opacity. For day 3 and 4 are reversed in texture. Number 3 starts out light and continues dark. Number 4 starts out dark and continuous light. For best result, these two are meant to be used in fast and continuous stroke. The Sumi brushes are the ones that run out of ink. For number 1 and 2, I like increasing the angle until you see the preview is reversed for a different angle. You can change the texture mode to multiply for the textures to come through. Or change the texture that you will want. Sumi 3 is a really interesting brush and is best used when your tablet supports tilt. By just tilting your stylus, you can create some really interesting look. Changing the angle for this brush will also yield to different results. Sumi 4 and 5 adapt the subcolor, which is perfect for when you want to add a little bit of tint to your illustration. You can change the subcolor and remember to select back the foreground color and adjust blend with subcolor the amount that you will want for a different look. Sumi 6 is fairly straightforward, but I like combining them with other brushes to give that extra touch. And lastly, the splatter brush. This is secretly my favorite part of the illustration. Unlike the usual brush where we adjust the brush size, for this one we adjust the particle size and particle density. For smaller splatter, you simply decrease the particle size and if you want them to be a little bit more scarce, then you decrease the particle density. And bonus tip, I really like combining my brushes with a realistic watercolor brush from Clip Studio Paint's default. By default, it has a rounded edge, but I like going into the subtool detail under the brush tip, add a material. And from here, under Sumi, you can find all of the materials that I used for my brushes. I like to use Ink Splatter 8 and just hit OK. Now it has a softer edge. Also, to avoid the edges looking too similar, I always like to change the color to paint transparency and using the same brush to go back and erase some of the marks. But of course, you can always combine different brush for endless possibilities. And that is it for the tutorial. Thank you guys so much again for the support. I hope this helped you understand how to use these brushes a little bit better. If you have any further questions regarding these brushes, you can find me on social media as the one with bear. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.